Do you want another bum bum, please? I don't think he's going to say that. Okay, folks, we do have a short wait here while uh, a tram comes northbound past us uh, here. This is one of our uh, one of our loops in the uh, in the system. As I say, we follow the old railway link. We had we have had uh, all the next um, railway workers on these on this line, and they sort of regale stories about the. What it was like in the old days, to say as long as 1868 there was a rail line running through here. This was always a uh, crossing here, one man uh, manned that, uh, that crossing there, a swing gate, he had his own loo there, the open new line, a Victorian toilet, just uh, to our right there. Well, fire up the old used to stoke up the old uh, firebox up at the Colton End and they used to coast most of the way down to here and uh, call it, taking holiday makers all over the London area. And then they still got their power box again, um, the last bit down to Seaton. Said that the uh, old settlement tanks out there behind us, we just passed. An old guy used to uh, grow tobacco on those and sell it to the railway workers, much sought after. So I saw you were saying. As he put it in my pipe and smoking it, I know, chewing it, but there we go. And um, one man's job. As I say, manning the gates here. The, the old road was still has always been there. Oh, there's road connecting extra. Uh, in that direction, just to our right. The line bridge is the other way. T. Sharp, but I know it's Lawrence on the the top of his rough motorcycle, just up the road there. Uh, the uh, the Collie Ford on the way out on the hill. The old hand crank petrol pump still remain there. Right out to his fatal motorcycle accident in 1935, he was sort of killed around here somewhere. Mm. 1969, the tramway took a lot, looked very well. Trams came from the Eastbourne area, with, they were running on a two foot nine inch gauge. Um, found that they, uh, they, this, 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 uh, they, they halved a lot of the sleepers, that's the wooden things that support the rails. Half them they could use uh, a lot more than, than most, uh, but. By and large, they brought everything up from the Eastbourne area on flatbed, low load, lo 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 loading uh, lorries uh, up to this, the old southern line here, and he got the tramway up and running around 1969. Originally, they used to tow electricity they didn't have before they had the up overhead stanchions. They used to uh, tow old submarine batteries behind to provide the, the uh, power on the old trams. Well, a lot of the trams, as I say, did come from the Eastbourne area. Number 12 is one of them, which you will see out today, 1966. This one was built in Seaton. We wanted to accommodate wheelchairs, low loading. Number 10, but a lot of the earlier trials, the heritage trials, were, were built down at, uh, at Eastbourne. Bonified up here, of course. I don't know where this tram is. <laughs> Fully trained in survival techniques, I can make a fire. Number two is to work together with our brew. Really late. You point your wrist when a driver goes past, you will get really upset. <laughs> so they say some of these drivers take it really seriously. We're on time, by the way. Ah, oh, here we go. It's about three minutes uh, between these two. Oh, yeah. Okay, once this transfer, we'll get moving. Next stop will be uh, uh, Seaton. Thank you. Okay. Mind if we look at the seat when the tram is in motion. Thanks very much. <laughs> I'll put to the gentleman here. Yeah. Thank
really just to uh, show the changes here. What used to be two massive car parks here and now uh, got new buildings coming up. Jurassic Centre, which is not due to open until next year, it's behind schedule. It's going to open this year. Right. They still seem to be quite actively working on it, don't they? Yeah. What was it, four o'clock and there's still people doing things there? Well, they don't finish to five or six, six I suppose, this time of year. Especially if they're behind schedule. That's mm. pressure them to get on with it. Mm. Well, we might be there to six tonight. Years ago, when we used to come to the tramway, I always used to park in. Yeah, it's interesting. Used to be classic cars every now. Yeah, and we used to have a classic car show here. No, nothing's parking in there. They want these things to bring the yeah. tourists and well, I hope they'll spend their money. I hope they'll incorporate some kind of parking because if people can't park here, they're going to come in. Yeah, that's right. Tesco's, that's what they do, don't they? Yeah, those car parks were always quite busy, weren't they? Remember? Yeah. They worried sometimes that we could get in. Who knows that's where the people park these days? Local corporation must be losing out on income too because they weren't cheap car parks. Who used to charge at least a significant sum to park? There's a bit there, but is that, is that a car park at the back still? Yes, I think they're going to carry on the car park there. I've noticed it before this occasion. That's only a bot about no, a fifth of the false original size. But not too busy this time of day, I suppose, anyway. Ticket machine in there. Oh, yes, that is a. So there is some kind of car parking here now. Yeah. Which I mean, that's just seen that. Just assume it's all been gone. People don't want to pay a big bill, do they? Of course not, no. Parking's one of those Somewhere things. Else. Bad enough to pay to go on the road, so they're going to not go on. Hmm? Anyway, as we pass over Leeds Bridge, that's the end of the main up area. It's more natural from now on. But you can see that on my earlier video if you want to see the route.